Hello and welcome back to my channel. Don't let the crazy lips fool you. It was a last minute decision and you can always substitute this lip for something more wearable. Today I will be following a pictorial from Instagram. I always thought Instagram pictorials always look amazing and they always end up looking flawless. This is what I managed to do by following a pictorial from Instagram. So if you would like to know how I achieved this look, just keep on watching. Before I get on with the tutorial portion of this video, I do have to first of all thank Dominique for sharing my last video Thank you so so much. There's so many new people on this channel and I'm about to cry. I gained about 50 subscribers in 24 hours. That's like mind blowing to me. So thank you so much Dominique. But if you guys think that I deserve more subscribers and you deserve more friends, make sure to always share my videos. There were so many people commented on my last video saying I am so glad I found your channel. You may be helping someone by sharing my video, maybe someone has a similar skin type or is interested in these type of videos. I think I might have to change my like, comment, subscribe to like, comment, subscribe and share. But yeah, thank you so much Dominique. Let's get on with this video. Let me show you how I achieved this look because new favorite look <laughs> yes so today i'm actually going to start a little different i'm going to do my brows as i'm moisturizing my under eye i've never ever had these types of um masks for your under eye eee, ah, very cold actually no it's not cold it's just wet oh this isn't easy got juices all over my mirror, all over my hands. Beautiful. I feel like a proper Instagram influencer. Nothing new here. I'm going to take my eyelid pomade in blonde and fill my brows in. The reason why I haven't filmed this video sooner is because I was hoping my Riviera palette from ABH will arrive before I go on this holiday and I'll be able to do a review on that. Unfortunately, there must have been so many um, orders that has taken us time that will be coming as soon as I get it. And to carve out my brow and prime my lid, I'm going to use P. Louise Base. So the pictorial I'm going to be using today I found on Moda2528 and it is by Regina ZLR. She has amazing makeup skills and pictorials and an amazing eye. I've tried to do close-ups of my makeup and I just can't do it. Can't hack it. How do people take pictures like that? So Regina tells us to use Carnival palette and <laughs> you'll know. It is one of my faves. We start with Wasted, the purple shade. This could be brilliant because these will catch my fallout. Regina starts by priming your eye and applying the shade Wasted from the Carnival palette onto your lid. I'd say this is very similar to what she has in the first picture. Blend it out with shade Foolish you can also pack on a bit of funky into your crease. So let's start with Foolish, one of my favourite shades because it's like a, a peachy salmony shade. And then using that to slowly blend waste it. So that's why I'm not a fan of this technique of you know blending shades out it just takes so long i personally rather build so if i was doing this makeup i would have started with foolish and then packed on the purple after there's like no blend whatsoever however regina did say she picked up some of funky the pink shade this does help to create that transition between the two shades 
I'm actually going to take a different brush for the two colours. I've got funky on this one and then foolish on this one. And I'm going on top of all of this with funky again because it's turning slightly too pink for my liking. still feel like there's no actual blend. If I take my initial brush and slowly reapply that and use this as a blending brush, I should be able to feather this in. Mm. I still think it's a little obvious where that initial placement was. Let's try and add funky. It's not as easy <laughs> as it seems online. Hers looks completely different. She hasn't blown this purple out too far and I did. This has turned into like a dark pink. Let's carry on. Do that halo thing. Use your favourite concealer or an eyeshadow base on a flat brush and cut your crease. So I've got my flat brush, I've got a little bit of P. Louise base and I'm going to cut my crease, do the halo thing. Okay, so she has it up to her crease. It's like a very weird shape and I can't match it. I think that's as good as it can be at the moment. Apply Foolish on the center of your eye and blend out your lower lash line. I'm taking Foolish, pat this in on the center of my lid. See when this is fully like packed, this almost looks orange. It tells me to do my under eye so I'm going to take this off, pat this serum in. It does feel very nice and moisturized. I'm going to prime my under eye with the P. Louise base. Some people do that and I did want to try it. I think this is a perfect opportunity. I'm only applying a little bit because I don't want it to ruin my concealer later on. Okay so she basically mimics what's on the top lid. So I've got funky and blending out the wasted. Going back with wasted. And to make funky in the center as intense, I will kind of apply a little bit more of P. Louise base, like a slight triangular shape. Using my shading brush, I pack foolish there. I mean, maybe. I'm going to take a clean brush, blend a little bit more. So I kind of want to take away some of that shadow on the edges. I think, I think that's a little bit better. At this point, she takes a little bit more wasted and blends this in. You need to add more funky to the edges. I don't think it's going to be any more orange than it already is, but that's a little bit better. Put on some NYX glitter in crystal, add some highlight, lashes and you're ready. Uh, unfortunately I don't have the NYX glitter in crystal but I have the collection glam crystals but today I'm going to use hustle and use it sparingly. Start in the middle coming down again in like a triangular shape. I mean, let's be real, glitter will save everything. I need to add it on my bottom lash line, but I will do that after, after I apply a little bit of Mooney onto my brow bone. It has an inner corner highlight as well, so let's add Mooney. For my mascara, I'm using the Mascara Revolution. I'm going to add a falsies after I finish this eye and I will be right back. This was not easy and honestly I wouldn't recommend priming your under eye with the P. Louise base because there's so many creases in your under eye that, they, um, that the base collects and it doesn't look too great. 
the makeup looks okay i just think there's a, an easier way to do it by slowly building the color for my foundation today i will be using these two i've been mixing the two because I bought the Super Sade 24 hour full coverage foundation from Maybelline in the shade Ivory and it's slightly too dark for me. However, if I mix it with L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear, they make a very nice combo. So I take two pumps of this, one pump of this, and it looks amazing. Full coverage heaven. Ignore the dry patches in this area. I had a lot of treatment on those spots right here. For my concealer, I'm going to be using Catrice Liquid Camouflage tonight. How do people do this? Like, I've done my under eye. How am I going to go around it? I'm also going to take this concealer and highlight the center of my face a little bit. Oh! this feels so wrong it does look quite nice and neat okay i like it sometimes it's worth trying out different techniques and even though i didn't quite like how i've packed on the wasted shade and tried to blend it out with a different shade that's not going to be my favorite way of applying shadow but i do like putting my eyeshadow first before my concealer this way i was able to clean up the fallout and now my under eye concealer is like perfectly clean there's no speck of eyeshadow in there so that's a good technique i think i might use that my rcma no color powder to bronze my face i'm going to take back to bronze from l'oreal For my blush, I'm taking my new favourite Rimmel Maxi Blush in the Sweet Cheeks. It's like a super orangey shade. I apply my blush on top of my apples. It gives it more of a lift. And then apply a little bit on the tip and the bridge of my nose. Just makes it a little bit more fresh, I think. Blend it in into my concealer, into my under eye. And now, of course, the most important part, the highlight. I'm taking Amrezy from ABH and my new rediscovered way. I used to really like this technique and I'm back into it. I take a tiny fan brush. This is actually for your nails. And I'm taking some of my highlight onto my tiny little fan brush and I'll put it on the highest points of my cheeks and aiming for the temple I take my damp sponge press this in mm. gives you a wet looking skin I don't want it to look glittery I want it to be melted into my skin I sometimes even take this fan brush and go underneath my brow in one swift motion join it in in my temple and put it down put the highlight on my cupid's bow as always and i use the same technique oh my god yes for my lashes today i will be using Swinker pl as my glue dries a little bit i'm going to add some mascara on my bottom lashes not a lot as i don't want to hide that glitter too much I'm going to stick the lashes off camera, I'm going to make a video for you guys about false lashes, how to apply them, how to trim them, what to do, what styles are better for who, etc. So look out for that, but yeah, I'm going to stick these on and I'll be right back to do my lips and finish this video off. Okay, I stuck my lashes on and I know I said I was gonna do my lips on camera but I started looking through my stash first I was going to put on my favorite lipstick of all time which is Charlotte Tilbury nude Kate but I came across Jeffree Star nude beach and I thought it was going to match foolish quite nicely I know it's more of a crazy nudish colour but I really really like it. I was never able to find a makeup look that this lipstick would suit. I think this is the one. Let me know down in the comments below what you think because it is definitely like out there. It's a statement. It's a look. 
Okay you guys, so this is my final look for the can I follow a pictorial video. Let me know what you think of this look. As always, I would love to know. Again, welcome everyone um, that is new. Thank you very much to Dominique and thank you for watching. You are the best. Maybe there is something to the pictorials on Instagram. They are definitely fun to follow, so I do recommend for you to follow the girl that I was inspired by. Let me find out what her name was. My brain is not working today. Regina ZLR, and I will put her IG in the description box. So make sure to check her out. She has amazing, amazing looks on there. But for now, thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time.